This program is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, a world leader in talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. and streaming live all across America. This is Home Talk USA with Michael King, where we will discuss topics pertaining to your home with industry-leading experts. Michael King is a licensed general contractor with more than 30 years of experience in home improvements and the author of Contracting with the King. Join us this hour for our segment, Invent America, with your co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Discover what's next in the home improvement industry and explore new products and innovations. Or if you have that next great big idea, learn what it takes to bring your invention to the world as Michael King and Rita Crompton talk to America's inventors and innovators. Remember, the America of tomorrow is being invented today. We invite you to visit us at HomeTalkUSA.com. One of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home. And there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, we proudly present Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Yay! Welcome, America. That's right. I am the Cajun man from the Bayou Land, the originator, not the duplicator. Please don't accept no substitutions. Man, I was green before green was even cool, along with my co-host, the inventor lady herself, Miss Rita Crompton. We want to welcome you to the show. we got a great, great uh, hour for you. We're going to be talking uh, to some inventors, some uh, entrepreneurs, uh, the um the people that actually develop the products for your home get to talk to them. Uh, they like to discuss their journey, uh, what it took to get that type of technology um, um, to the to the market. Uh, me and Rita is going to be uh, hopping that big bird next uh, next week. We're going to be covering the international building show slash hardware show slash. The kitchen and bath, they combine all three uh, shows together. But uh, she's with me right now, my co-host, the inventor lady herself, Miss Rita Crompton. Hey, Rita. Hey there, Michael. How are you today? I'm doing great. Uh, well, it's getting close. You know, we wait Holy all cow. year. We, we, well, we basically, me and you, we wait all year to uh, uh, for the trade show so we can uh, uh, go out and look at some technologies, some inventors, some uh, uh, products, new products, new technology. It, it's an exciting time because the, you know, Rita, the industry is changing. Products are changing. Uh, Distribution is changing. Um, the rules are changing. Rita, everything oh, yeah. is changing, man. I can't keep I up know. with it. <laughs> I know. You know, and it's crazy because we're already planning now for 2024. So when I get people, you know, that say, well, I don't understand why I can't get my product in, you know, stores and and shows and even us, we're, we're already looking at, you know, what's going to be coming up in 2024. And we just started 2023. So, yeah, it is uh, kind of down and dirty getting we're taking 25 inventors. So 25 new products to the hardware show this year. Um, it's their chance to show off and gather information. And some of them will be taking orders. Two of those um, folks will be on with us today and then we'll get a chance to visit with several more when we're out there um during the show yeah because you're going to have uh you know inventors that's coming to the show might not have heard of the inventor lady and what you do never maybe heard i, I can't see they never heard a home talk i mean you, you know uh, <laughs> i know right you know, we've been on air for 23 years on this network the Genesis communication radio network but uh i mean they have inventors uh, uh you know they come up there and they have some ideas and you just don't know what direction to go. Uh, it's a very complicated uh, procedure because you're not only, you know, uh, trying to, um, you know, manufacturing your product, but, man, it's got to start from the licensing product to the copyright product. I mean, uh, copyright. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a journey, ain't it? It's, it's hard, and I get people that call me, and, you know, I've had people call me that want to be, you know, considered our experts on the show, and I'm thinking, but what you're doing is not an expert. You're a vulture. 
Yeah. And so it's, you know, there are a lot of people out there that, you know, it's it's a hard process to go through anyway. But when you've got to be careful of the scoundrels as well, you know, we're trying to get out the message. It's like, okay, here's, here's what you look for. Here's how you determine service providers. And these are the questions you want to ask and to give them good information early on so they don't make the mistakes. And for a lot of our inventors, by the time they get to this point, you know, marketing can be so expensive. And so going to a trade show is a better use of those precious dollars when you get to this point. And that's why, you know, I always encourage an inventor to go, you know, find the best professional trade show for your industry. And there's one for all of them. Well, and also, I like to make the advice, too. I like to bring this out. Uh, don't necessarily go if you maybe have the product um, that is, um, you know, in, in a certain stage. But if I have an idea and I have a drawing, and, and maybe you want to just go to the show and check it out before you go through the process and start wasting money and wasting time when you can talk to the investor inventor lady and say, hey, look, I'm in the early stage of this. I, 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 I have it on a piece of paper right now. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. good. That's good. So, it is. you know, and it I do it have a lot of, yeah, I've got a lot of people who've called and asked or sent me an email. Can I meet you at the show? I'm in the early stages of this and they're close enough that, you know, maybe they could drive out or they just want to look and see, you know, the other kinds of products. So it's a very good idea to be able to get there. And, and for those folks that are just getting started, a lot of them who are going with us, They've got prototype and patent pending status, but they're going to look and gather now, you know, how could they make the product better? What kind of price points do they have to hit? What kind of packaging do different stores want? So almost every stage you can learn a lot from other inventors that have gone through the process or are just beginning. There's always experts there, and there are some really good people at the show who are there to help. Like yeah, that's yeah. I mean, if you have the idea, look, uh, that's what I want to tell you. If you're listening to this show right now, and you have an idea, and you just don't know, you, you know, you don't have to have an established product to go to the trade show. You have right. to be a, a company. It's not open to the public, but the point is, you know, it, it, it's open to inventors and future inventors. And look at all the educational seminars that's available at the trade show. They have seminars on this, on how to bring your product to market. Right? Am I correct? They do. No, you're yeah. absolutely correct. They certainly do. Well, we're here to help, aren't Rita? <laughs> yes, we are here to help. And, you know, a lot of the stuff that, that that is there, you know, we talk about. We have experts on to answer the questions, inventors, some who made the mistakes, some who avoided the mistakes, and some who learned from the mistakes. Um, and so, you know, all of this all year long is is to help inventors get through those steps. And then, you know, kind of the... The, the the big celebration, the big Super Bowl, um, no pun intended on that, um, it, for us is the National Hardware Show because yep. you're right, it kind of all comes together there. Well, this year is uh, all three shows that are combining, which is good for us because I remember over the years I'd have to go to three individual shows, you know, the International Building Show, which is the big one for me, the Hardware Show, which is the big one for you, and the Kitchen and Bat Show, which is pretty much, you know, a, a, an all-around show. But now they're combining all three shows together, which expense-wise makes sense for you know, a company, uh, you know, a show like us, you know, Rita. Well, hey, there's the music, Rita. We got to step away. Got to hear from some of our great sponsors. When we come back, we're going to have our first guest. I think it's going to be Mr. Uh, I think it's Alex Shane. No, no, excuse me. I'm no, looking no, at the no, wrong no. sheet. I'm, I'm, looking at last, I'm looking at last week's show. What am I we doing here? Not. The inventor is Jay Calhoun. <laughs> that's right, Mr. Jay. That's right. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to be right back right here on the Home Improvement Broadcasting Network. I'm streaming live on the World Wide Web here on the Home Improvement Broadcasting Network at the Genesis Communication Radio Network. This is the Invent America Show right here with the Cajun contractor Michael King and Rita Crompton. Always support your local uh, independent hardware stores and garden centers. And let's pledge to hire a vet today. And, man, I apologize. My producer stuck last week's show in my in my notes, and I said, oh, man, we almost was going to do last week's show. But we're going to come back with, uh, again, we're going to have um, – um, Mr. J. Calhoun with Finger Level is going to be our guest. So y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back. Yay! Welcome back. 
USA with Michael King. Do you have questions about your next home improvement project or home repairs? Now you can chat with verified home repair and home improvement experts in just minutes. Get the help you need by visiting HomeTalkUSA.com. One of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home. And there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, back to Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country. Home Talk USA with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. All right, welcome back to the show. That's right. Don't forget, we are streaming live on the World Wide Web at the Genesis Communication Radio Network at GCNlive.com. And if you want to catch our archive of the show, all you have to do is go to HomeTalkUSA.com. We do download uh, our shows uh Late Sunday night, where you can catch it 365, uh, 24-7, 365. You can also go to the inventorlady.com and catch the um, the uh, show there also. Uh, Rita, we have our next guest, uh, another person that's going to be at the trade show next week, right? Yes, Guillermo Rivera is going to be at the show with us. He is the – and, Guillermo, I'm going to let you talk about your product because, you know, you've got down the dynamic framer. Is that the name of your business or the name of your product? Yeah, actually, the name of the business is Dynamic House. Uh, we okay. incorporated uh, several uh, do-it-yourself and home improvement products into uh, the Dynamic House umbrella, and that first product uh, in the line is uh, the Dynamic Framer. Excellent. All right. So that I was going to ask you, tell us a little bit more, more details about how you use your invention. Yeah, well, the invention um, came about because my uh, partner, my co-inventor, Hank Nick, uh, is a residential remodeling contractor here in uh, northwest Indiana, uh, that found, saw a need for his, uh, his carpenters and his, some, some of his tradesmen who uh, needed some assistance in laying out walls. So we uh, came up with an idea to make it simple and error-proof for laying out a wall with a template. Uh, and as we started to talk about the template, we came up with an idea for uh, making the connection, uh, the toenail connection from the base plate to the stud uh, with a, a jig. Uh, and then we started talking about, oh, well, once we use the jig, how do we get the wall straight from top to bottom? So we came up with a level that's applied right to the stud that tells you when the top of the Top of the wall is straight uh, and in line with the bottom of the frame. Uh, so okay. what, it, what it's basically designed to do is uh, to help do-it-yourselfers who aren't uh, particularly advanced uh, craftsmen or carpenters, help them build a wall without uh, all of the measuring and attachment errors that usually happen. All right. So if somebody goes to, to your website, and we'll give the website in a little bit here, or they're going to buy your product off a shelf, what exactly are they buying? So they're buying a three-piece kit. Uh, that includes a template, and there is enough uh, of the template to make uh, eight feet of wall. Uh, so it's expandable, so you can expand it to any length of wall that you would like. Uh, it includes a jig that uh, gives you the perfect angle for attaching uh, the stud to the base plate. Uh, that basically gives you the alignment for the screws or the nails to attach the uh, the uh, components of the wall. And the third piece of okay. the kit is a, is a leveler that shows you when it's straight from top to bottom. Okay. So one of the, I mean, you, you are working with your product every day in your day job. So marketing is challenging. How do you go about marketing your product separate from yeah, well, selling your services in your day job? Yeah, the, the marketing, like, like I said, is challenging. Uh, we've started uh, to incorporate uh, some videos via social media. Uh, we have our website up and running. Uh, we've done some uh, customer outreach events. Uh, here in Chicago, uh, the Chicago and Northwest Indiana area, to kind of get some feedback from uh, actual users who are are giving us um, you know, some of the ideas, like uh, some of the ideas for improvement. That okay, this works, this doesn't work. So we've gone through a couple of uh, different uh, phases of that to get to the price, uh, get to the place where we are and ready to uh, sort of go to market. Um, we have. Uh, uh, we're working with Purdue, uh, Indiana, uh, Purdue University Northwest here in Indiana, and uh, they've helped us with uh, some brand awareness here locally via uh, one of the radio stations. 
Uh, we've uh, also participated in various pitch competitions, which has gotten us a lot of exposure. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the marketing is challenging, but right now we're uh, going through social media and trying to create sort of a uh, little bit of groundswell and a uh, little bit of buzz before we actually start our uh, in earnest marketing, I should say. Well, excellent. And you'll be doing a lot of that in earnest marketing at the National Hardware Show next week. That's that's right. And we're looking forward to that. That's, I think that would be, uh, in terms of, terms of exposure, probably uh, uh, the best avenue for us in, in, in an attempt to reach the audience that we're trying to reach. Well, again, uh, Rivera, um, you will be at the National Hardware Show next week. Now, again, who are you trying to meet with? Are you trying to meet with uh, so you can license your deal? And um, but, but where are you at in the process also right now? Is your, is your product ready to go? Uh, where are you at in the process? Yeah, we're we're essentially ready to go. We have a uh, minimum viable uh, prototype that's uh, been completed. We've been negotiating with several uh, local uh, manufacturing companies here uh, to start uh, to start uh, uh, more uh, to start manufacturing in bulk. Uh, so uh, right now, we're looking for injection molding companies uh, that uh, are preferably local. I, I, we've had some. Um, conversations with uh, manufacturers overseas as well. As well, uh, but at the moment we are uh, close to um, starting mass production. Wow! So it's been a it's been a it's been a uh, a journey, huh, my friend? Uh, it's been a journey that's probably taken us two years from the initial um, idea to the point where we're at now. Um, like I said, we had a lot of help with uh, Purdue University Northwest in developing the prototypes. Um, but we've gone through um, marketing classes. Uh, we had to quick learn, uh, quick quickly learn about uh, yeah. injection molding and the manufacturing process. How we get uh, all of that from an idea into an actual product we can physically hold in our hands has, has been a uh, has been a journey. Like I said. Rivera, well, we wish you luck. Uh, we have to step away right now. There's the music. Uh, me and Rita's got to pay some bills right now. But, uh, Rita, how can we reach uh, the dynamic uh, framer? <laughs> well, the website is listed on the Inventor Lady website, but his website is dynamicframer.com, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, but there are several links that are on either the National Hardware Show or the Inventor Lady site as well. All right, my buddy, Rivera, thank you so much for being our guest. And, uh We'll see you next week at the trade show. I'll see you there. Bye-bye. All right. Well, we're going to take a short break uh, right here on the Home Improvement Broadcasting Network, streaming live on the Genesis Communication Radio Network at GCNlive.com. You're listening to Home Talk USA, uh, uh, the uh, radio edition, the Invent America show right here on our network, uh, talking about some great inventors, talking about the trade show next week. We're going to step away again, pay some bills. Don't forget to support your local dependent hardware stores and garden centers, and let's pledge to hire a vet today. I'm the Cajun Man, along with my co-host, Miss Rita Crofton, the Inventor Lena. We're going to be right back. Yay! 